Okay, you guys, so let's do another earring making video. You guys, I'm so excited about these. So this is what I went to the Dollar Tree to get. I have been thinking about these full stickers and they are just so beautiful. I don't even know what I was doing in the Dollar Tree at the time when I saw them, but I didn't buy them. And I was like, I'm going back to get those. And they are, these are gonna make to me just some incredible earrings. My mom was over earlier and was commenting on how pretty they were. So she said, oh, that would make a pretty brooch and earring set. So that's what we're gonna make, a brooch and an earring set using, guess what, Dollar Tree stickers. You already know that if you see the Crafter Square. So these are $1.25. And you're gonna need two packs, right? Because you need matching flowers for a matching set. So you're gonna need two of the purples and then you'll need two of the reds. That's my dog's toy in the background, like right over there, that is so funny. See that little thing back there? <laughs> His name is Gerald. So anyway, super cute. You're also gonna need some wooden earring bases. I'm gonna be using the tri I mean the square ones, but I face them this way so they're shaped like octagons I don't know I guess that's what that is circles and then of course you can use whatever shape you want um, for the brooches so also if you want to match and brooch of course you just do another square and what else I don't know that I have another circle in here so we'll have to figure out where I may or may not have another circle for that pair so Let's think about our design and what it's going to be. I, of course, my eyes are on the largest one. So I'm trying to see. It's not going to fit all the way. So what I could do is, because I'm going to paint this base anyway, is let it overhang a little bit. And then on the back of the flower, just be sure to Mod Podge it or paint it so it doesn't get sticky. So stuff doesn't start to stick to it. So that's probably what we're going to do. So for this particular pair, I had said I was going to do a gold base, but then I thought about red because it's so pretty, but then I don't want it to blend in. So let's stick with the gold paints. You're going to need your gold metallic paint, which I don't have a lot of left, but I think enough to get through this project. And then, of course, you're going to need some earring hooks and jump rings, however you want yours to hang. And you're going to need your favorite paintbrush. Mine is just this little flat acrylic paintbrush and some handy wet wipes, according to one of my favorite YouTube friends that always gives me great suggestions and then you're going to need your you're going to need to go ahead and drill your holes so i'm trying to decide because i'm going to be using this flower i'm not going to drill a hole in the flower so depending on how we plan to situate it on there i may be putting a hook on the back of these so they'll hang that way i have some other ideas for stuff too oh, so many ideas Lots of time. I don't want to say so little time because every day is a blessing that we're alive on the earth and we just got to use our time wisely. I get to spend my free time with you guys. So that's a blessing. So I don't know why I was fighting with that. So really pretty. And these, these are puffy. So just so pretty. So if we're going to put it on there and it's going to sit like that on the earring, I probably could drill a hole. Um, I just not, I don't want a hole in the flower itself. So I probably could put it up there depending on how I'm gonna lay the flower onto the earring. And then if you want it to do a bigger earring, look at this. You could use these really long ovals and you could put that flower, like that white flower on there. That'd be so pretty. So we could figure out how to do that. And then you could have a couple of different flowers on there. I think that would be beautiful. So maybe we'll do something with that. I don't know why not. Let's get carried away since we've been here for a minute. But just keeping in mind that if we do that, it makes the video longer. So I don't know, I digress. We'll think about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and paint our base. I didn't bring my um, paint palette over here. So we're just gonna start painting. So we're just gonna paint, I'm gonna do a really healthy coat of the gold. So I'm probably gonna do two or three coats because I really want this to have a really pretty metal finish, metallic finish, I should say. And if you don't wanna, I saw this um, little hack on another video. If you don't wanna touch the, um, the jewelry when you're painting it, of course you could hold it with another item like you could poke the hole in it and hold it that way. Y'all might hear my husband outside. He's making some shelving out of an old bookcase my 15-year-old had. And she didn't want it anymore. So he was like, I'm going to make a shelf. I'm a shoe rack. That's what he's making. It's looking pretty cute so far. 
I'll show y'all a picture of it once he finishes. So that's one coat there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next coat on here. What are you all up to today, y'all? I'm so glad to be almost at, I would say I'm at 90%. Ooh, I had the cooties, can I tell you? I was like, Lord, I do not feel great, but God is so excellent. So every day what I did was I started telling myself, you feel great, every day you feel better and better. And I just got out and would go walking if it was warm to get some vitamin D, drink bunches of orange juice. And so how was I still gonna meet my clients? when I wasn't feeling great, but was also like not wanting to contaminate anybody. Cause even though my family's COVID tests were negative, well, my son's was, my husband's was positive. I, um, I didn't want to contaminate anybody. So what I did was I would go to the house before my client got there, unlock the door, not go in and wait in the car. So that way I could keep them safe, keep myself safe. And I told him, Hey, I don't feel good. And, um, so if you don't want to meet, it's okay. It won't hurt my feelings. Let me know, but I'm not going to be able to walk you through the house and all that jazz. So that's what we did. They said, hey, we don't care. So, and they were really sweet. Hey, how are you feeling? Are you feeling better? Blah, blah, blah. Masked up, kept our distance, unlocked doors, served my clients. I said, God, you're so great. So listen, I made a post earlier today on my Facebook page. For those of you that are on Facebook, hey, follow me over on Facebook. I don't post like I do over here jewelry making videos. I mainly just share stuff that's real estate related. But own your own business, own your own. Listen, you know, I don't care if you have a full-time job, we all should, everybody should work if they can, right? The word says, if you don't work, you don't eat. That's in Thessalonians. But at the same time, something, some part of that job, and if you don't make enough, I totally understand, you gotta figure that out you need to own your own business. I tell my children all the time, go to college, yes, get a great job, but you need to own your own business because if anybody decides to flip the script on you and say that they no longer need your services or you know, you just end up not really liking what you do anymore, you still need a side hustle. You need a business that's your own. It doesn't have to be a hustle. I mean, you could turn it into a full-time gig, but everyone needs to own their own business. I don't care who you are and what you do. Now, if you say, listen, I'm just not cut out for that. I've tried that. Okay, then I get it. It's not for you. But for those of you that it is for, I need you to think about what are you going to own? What are you going to do? Get started. Stop playing around. I think a lot of times, too many people overthink stuff. What if this happens? What if that happens? Well, what if none of that crap happens? And now you've sat here wasting time overthinking it when you could have just been doing the business, okay? And I want you to think about collaborating with other people in the business that you know that maybe you're great at something, they're great at something, and you all could do it together. Like our hair care line, I'm, that's one of my best friends, owns a salon and a spa. So we're doing it together because guess what? She's the one that has access to the clients and can sell it. But I have access to the idea and putting the back end of it together. And so we said, let's do it. The Lord told us, let's do it together. He gave us the idea to do it together. It wasn't even anything we were thinking about. The Holy Spirit gave us that plan. So anyway, we got those bases done. I'm going to go ahead and do another base, even though we may not finish this earring. Maybe we'll do this earring on a um, separate video. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do this base color a different color. Let's see. Maybe a silver and a gold. Maybe a silver and gold light tight wash, like a marble maybe. So let's see. So today, y'all know we moved into our home back in October. I'm rambling, sorta. Of. Um, I found the fluffiest, most gorgeous pillows. I'm not a decorator. I can't decorate at all. Yes, I design jewelry and I'm creative that way, but I'm very uncreative when it comes to decorating spaces. I don't even like to do it. But I do admire that other people can. I'm like, Laura, can you bring somebody in here that knows what they're doing? Because I turn show sure don't. <laughs> and my husband is really good at it. But anyway, I found some fluffy pillows. They reminded me of llamas. I got excited. So I did buy some pillows today. Because we don't even have pictures on the wall yet. So that's the next thing is I do want to start doing some pictures. And even though I've never painted a pic of any kind, other than on a small piece of jewelry, I want to be able to, um, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that inside the silver paint, even though I have gold on there. I wanna do like the acrylic pores. I'm interested in that. So I'm just doing the opposite end of this earring gold because I wanna use that big white rose we just looked at a second ago. I think that's gonna be so pretty. So right now I'm just doing opposite endsies. 
and I'm sitting them over on something to um, to dry. Y'all, the weather, oh my gosh, it's so incredibly gorgeous outside. So yes, anyway, so when you think about a business, what should I do? What should you do? What are you good at? Right? It took other people, honestly, telling me what I was good at and saying, Garlinda, have you thought about doing this? Or Garlinda, have you thought about doing that? And I was like, well, no, actually I hadn't. So I'm just going to do some stripes going down that way into the goal. And then I'm going to do some gold going back in the opposite direction. And so it would take, you know, it took my husband to tell me I was an entrepreneur. I honestly didn't, like I said, if I think I've shared that story, how I ran into Jesse Jackson's son coming out of the, um, I think it's in my book, but I, sh I ran into Jesse Jackson's middle son, Jonathan, coming out of the student center when we were at a and where I went to college the first year. And he asked us, were we freshmen? We said yes. And um, he said, what's your major? I said, I'm majoring in a business. I think I said accounting at the time, but I changed to business. And then um, I asked him what he was majoring in. He said, entrepreneurship. I was like, what'd you say about my mama? Just kidding. I said, what'd you, what is that? And he said, that's, he said, you don't know what entrepreneurship is? I was like, no. He said, that's where you own your own business and work for yourself. Literally, I had never even heard the term, right? Where there'll be some people now that'll be like, how did you never hear the term entrepreneurship? Because that was never discussed in our family. No one ever talked about you should go own your own business or open a business. So hearing that term, I felt like was the Lord introducing me for the first time to business and opening up the idea of I could own my own business, although I hadn't thought about it. And then I began to meet other people that had businesses. One girl on campus was doing nails. She was really good at it. She was from Maryland. Um, she was doing nails in her room. Somebody else was doing hair in their room. So college really opened up my mind to business ownership. And I had not thought about that until I went away from home. Anyway, I'm gonna go rinse the brush. Okay, so now let's put some gold down here and maybe we may do some black streaks later, I'm not sure. But we just wanna make this look like wall art. That's kind of like what I'm thinking about now just because we were talking about design, so why not? So pretty. So let's sit that off to the side to dry. And then let's do one more coat on these and then we'll let we'll do the backs and then we can get started with the design. This is just gonna be a real simple earring with these beautiful red flowers. I mean, imagine how many of these you could do and sell right here, springtime, and you could call this your wall art collection. Oh, you could call it your wow your wallflower collection. My husband tells me all the time I'm a spin doctor, help people come up with business names, friends of mine all the time. I think I have a couple of friends that I help them name their businesses and it's so much fun. I just like coming up with stuff. You're probably really good at that too. And that is a business, think about it. Helping people with their business is a business. So we're just gonna put one more coat. Then this one will technically have, to me it'll be sufficient. And these are gonna be so beautiful. And these are perfect just in time for Easter, right? I saw a meme that said, let's face it, Easter hasn't been the same since Payless went out of business. I hollered, I literally, I do miss Payless. Do y'all miss Payless? <laughs> I do, I like Payless. Now this would be a super cute brooch. Um, and it'd be perfect for one of the larger flowers, let's see, that we're not going to make earrings with. That'd be pretty. Maybe the purple ones. So let's go ahead and give this a gold base. And maybe we'll paint the back of it purple, and that'd be really pretty. Because look, I got make time to make up for it. I haven't been painting anything or making anything. But anyway, I want you to think about starting your business. Stop playing around. So when you say, well, Garlinda, where should I start? Get that question all the time. I'm confused. I'm lost. Where should I start? What do I do? I don't even know. This little, the sky is falling. Okay, so everybody calm down. Start with who, what, when, where, how, and why. Right? That's so basic. That's how you start a business. Who is the client? 
what am I going to do? Who, what, when? When am I going to start? That should be now, within the next 30 to 60 days. Who, what, when, where? Where is it going to be? It can be virtual. It can be your home. Like, it can be anywhere. Who, what, when, where, how? How am I going to do it? Right? Think of your platform. Is it going to be online? Is it going to be in person? What do you need to do? How? Right? And think of it from, from the perspective that money is not an option. I mean, money is not an obstacle. So if money were no option, what would you do? Who, what, when, where, how, and why? The most important piece is the why. Why am I doing this? What's the point anyway? Why did I decide I want to own a business? And what am I going to do about it? And once you know the why, the why should be something that brings tears to your eyes when you think about it. Like, I've got to do it. I'm going to, if I don't do it, you know, people are depending on me, counting on me. I've got to get this done. And even if no one is depending and counting on you, you're depending and counting on you, right? Because I just can't stand to see people taking advantage of their gifts and their talents and not realize that they could be monetizing those exact same things. And that maybe no one's just sparked that in you and said, you can do it because like me, those weren't conversations being had in your home, right? But now you be the one to have the conversations. I tell my kids all the time, they already know. I don't care what you do, own a business. Everything they talk to me about, that's a business, <laughs> right? I have a 15 year old that loves to cosplay. And um, when she was asking me yesterday for another wig and something else, I'm like, listen, you need a cosplay business. Mom, everything doesn't have to be a business. If you spend the money on it, it should be. So think about that. What do I spend money on on a regular basis? I spend money on jewelry making supplies on a regular basis. Do you? Right? Are you buying beads? Do you buy um, pens, pencils, paper, stationery? That's a business. So I really want you to be thinking about who, what, when, where, how, and why and make it happen, get started. Okay, so now we're gonna use the purple paint to paint the back of the gold one that we were talking about. Oh shoot. <laughs> the one that was gonna have the purple and gold flower on it. So we're just gonna do the back and that's gonna be really pretty. So we're gonna give it a generous coat. And of course, I always seal my back, not always, but most of the time I'll seal the back of something I'm making with Mod Posh just so you don't have to worry about the color or the paint or anything rubbing off. And you want the back to be just as pretty as, as the front. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and do, well this back is gonna be red. So what I'll do is I'll paint the back of the triangular ones. Well, octagon, we'll make this one purple since that's the flower we're using on these. Okay, you guys, so now we're gonna use our E6000 glue. And even though the stickers already have sticky on the back of them, you still don't wanna run the risk of just use, just trusting that because it could come off. And then next thing you know, if you're selling your designs, you know it's messed up. So we're gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of the glue. You don't wanna use a lot. And I haven't drilled the holes yet because I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna station the flower on here. I could use a smaller flower, but I don't know. Let's see. Let me close this back up for a second. I don't know. I don't feel like that has the same effect if we do the larger one. That was so tough because it is pretty. Because I guess we could use well, that was gonna be a different brooch. I know I'm being totally indecisive. Bear with me. Because the goal was to do that one. However,
That's really pretty. And I think that probably makes more sense. Size wise, that baby blanket does stay. Okay. Mm hmm. He knows his mama would want to keep the baby blanket. The minute my husband sees stuff in the garage, he'll start wanting to give your stuff away. And I'm like, uh, if that baby blanket leaves here, I have a fit and fall in it, although my baby is 19. So I'm just going to sit it on there and let's see what it looks like. So it doesn't, if I do that, it doesn't really leave space for a hole for the earring. So I'm thinking that I would need to use a larger base for that. And because of that, we're just going to do the one that's realistic, right? That will still show up as a really pretty flower will give room to hang and will still make a statement. And I love that the little piece hangs off the side because again, we're gonna put some Mod Podge on the back of that or something where maybe we could do some white glue or something where it won't really, it won't stick to anything. So let's close that up. So I just put enough back there that we could smush it down where it'll spread itself out. And we're just gonna squish it down. Because the thing is, you want to make sure you have good adhesion. And that's really going to be a lot more gorgeous. Only because you're going to get to see the gold background. And it's going to hang and spin. And it's going to definitely create a statement. I love that. And then that kind of gives it a 2D effect because it hangs off the side. So I like that as well. Cool. So now we're going to use the other one. I know it took a minute for me to figure that out. But, you know, it's designed. So sometimes you got to decide what's going to look nice, what's going to look the best. So let's close this up. And again, this isn't the only glue you can use, but I do like it a lot. So let's push this down on here. Squeeze. We're just going to push it down and then a little bit oozed over here. So we're just going to wipe that up. I noticed it went on the edges too. And even though it's gonna dry clear, just the aesthetics of it. So very pretty. So you have two pairs so far ready to go. So we're gonna set them off to the side to dry. Now let's go ahead. Now these are still wet on the back. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Let's open up the purple one and let's work on the brooch and the earrings for the purple set. These are gonna be incredible. I think just the gold and the purple and the white, is just so pretty. Love it, love it. So I'm gonna go with, I think that flower. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so daggone tough. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's pretty. That's pretty, but that hangs off the edge. Uh, that's beautiful. That's really pretty. So I wish you guys could help me decide, but that one's really pretty. And then that pink and white one is really pretty here. Let's see. But size wise, that purple one just seems to make a statement. So we're gonna go with that. See, don't y'all like how I'm making faster decisions now? <laughs> For the most part. So let's put some glue on the back. I can tell my glue is warm because it's coming out kind of fast. It's so hot today. Not in a bad way. So let's take this. And of course, I want mine, my design to hang diagonally. So... I'm gonna put it where the flower faces the direction I want it to go, which is that way. So I'm gonna put it down and press it. And we can always go over the sections that have the glue on them, but I mean, like I said, it dries clear, so it's fine. So. Look how pretty that is. So now let's do this one. 
And this is why I say you need two packs of these because you gotta have matching flowers to do a set. But you already know that without me telling you that. Because that's not rocket science. Right. But that way no one would say, you didn't mention that we needed two of them. So that one's gonna hang that way. That's gonna be really pretty. That way. So let me grab the glue. And I love that they have like that puff to them because it gives them this really pretty dimension. Look how pretty those are gonna be. I mean, no one will ever think that you bought these from the Dollar Tree. So now let's go ahead and make a brooch to go with. I think that we could do two flowers on here. I think we're gonna do, this could be a necklace centerpiece. So I'm undecided that this is gonna be a brooch or a centerpiece, but let's use those. Those are really pretty. And you could use a toothpick to put your glue on. I just didn't feel like going to get any. Which literally they're right over there in the drawer, but. And it won't matter how you sit it on there because, well, it will depending on if you're going to do a brooch or if you're going to do a um, necklace base. And of course, you want to think about how you're going to position it. But luckily, the glue E6000 gives you time to work. So that's a blessing. So I'm going to move mine over a little bit. Look how pretty that is. I feel like you could almost fit one more flower on there. You could probably fit that one on there, but I just think that'll be doing too much. So let's not do that. So let me turn it around, make sure I like how it looks before I run out of time to move anything. So pretty. So let's turn it around so you can see it. I wanted to move that one a little bit. Yep, yeah. it wasn't centered like the other one. So, I'm gonna make sure they are in the same direction. So while you can still move and make sure everything's situated the way you wanted it. So let's turn the camera. So look how gorgeous they look. Oh my gosh, they are so pretty. Let's look at the red ones. You guys, these are money makers. Come on, start your jewelry business, quit playing. You got it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do this pair, even though they are still a little damp on the back with the paint. The most that'll happen is it'll stick to the paper. But like, see, I can tell right there that it's still wet a little bit. Oh, no, it's not. It's just raised a little bit. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to, I was just pressing it down to see if it was still damp, but it's not. So these are really pretty. So this is the one we're going to put the white flower on, the really long white flower. This one. So we're gonna have to cut the edge of the rose off a little bit or we can let it hang off and then um, let it be dimensional just like the other one. And then maybe we could put another flower right there. So we also won't be able to add any glue right there, but if we had some super glue, we could probably put a little bit of super glue on the stem but I'm not gonna put the E6000 glue on there because I don't want that to ooze all over the earring or what have you, so. 
I'm gonna hold this up so you can see it, but I will go get some super glue at some point one day this week. I need to go. We're making purses for our sorority. We're doing, um, not making purses, we're giving up donating purses. It's called the SIPS program. And it goes to women in the community and we fill up the bags. You probably already do this in your community as well. And we fill the bags up with um, necessities like personals and then put a gift card in there, a card, just whatever you wanna put in there. So that's a little bit more glue than I wanted, but hopefully it won't ooze out onto the side. Y'all, I'm in love with these earrings. I think I'm gonna be selling these. I've not added anything into my Etsy store since Jesus was a baby. I haven't had time. I really want to find somebody that can manage the store for me, like upload and stuff and pricing and all that jazz. You guys, seriously, how incredible are these? So I left room up there at the top for the holes to go. But let's also see if we should add something down here at the bottom. I almost feel like it would take away from it if we added anything because they're just so beautiful the way they are. Let's see. There's a small little flower we could put down there. I'm going to sit it there, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I don't know. It does kind of add to it. What do you think? These are so after five. It's so pretty. I'm I always get compliments on my earrings. I don't know. I just tucked it aside. I'm going to turn it around. Let's look at it. I'm just going to sit it on there. Only thing I don't like about it is it has a little bit of green in it where that flower doesn't. Oh my gosh. Let's turn it around and see it again. Okay, so I can see how that could add to it, but I can also see how this by itself is just really, really pretty help you guys help <laughs> I don't okay know. i had to call in another opinion so oh shoot <laughs> miriam told me i should add the flower so i'm gonna go ahead and add the flower as an extra design element i mean either way you can't go wrong and what's cool is you could wear these earrings year round dressed up or down like it could be with a white t-shirt I mean, yeah, white t-shirt and some jeans or to work with some slacks or after five. Y'all, somebody's out there shooting today. We live, we moved out into the county. You can always hear somebody shooting. Like, what are y'all out there doing? What are you shooting at this time of the day in the first place? So, super gorge. Oh my gosh, I love that. So, I'm going to let these, I see where the sunlight's starting to come in and adjust my light. So, I'm going to turn this around so you can see it and go close those windows. All righty, so I think it came out really pretty. I just think they look so elegant. So pretty. So let's let these dry while we're working on the patchwork ones that we have to get finished up. And let's look at all of them together whilst drying. to run and make some dinner so look at what these turned out looking like first of all that's the necklace pendant i look for i didn't have any gold bells but look how pretty that is going to be hanging on a necklace that is gorgeous and look how the earrings turned out now if you wanted to you could put some dangles on these i know i accidentally cut my finger running my mouth with my son so look how gorgeous they are. These are stickers like nobody is going to believe that. Moving the unfinished piece off to the side. <laughs> Beautiful. We're still working on those. And then look how these turned out. What you doing, Kay? They are so, so gorgeous. I think the lady said these are peonies, but I'm not sure. I don't know my flowers. But I think they are just so incredibly beautiful. They are statement pieces for sure. And then the last ones, the pièce de résistance. No one will ever believe these are stickers. Look how beautiful they turned out. I mean, literally, 
they look like works of art. So let's turn the camera around so you can see how they came out and how they're finished, but I think they are incredibly beautiful. Plus we can take my old Band-Aid finger out the video. Hold on. So look how beautiful they are, hon. I think they came out so incredible. I am in love with these stickers. This is exactly what I envisioned. Tell me that you all could not make money off of selling these. Go get you some full gorgeous stickers from the Dollar Tree. I hope in all seriousness, I hope you make some for yourself. These would make incredible Mother's Day gifts, Easter gifts, whatever you have coming up, birthday. Someone would genuinely love these. God bless you guys. See you on the next video. I got to go finish out this patchwork pair of earrings, right? <laughs> See you soon.